my work is constantly transforming. What I embrace on one day might embarrass me the next. I keep finding new directions, new ways to see, new ways to explain the world visually. I sometimes awaken in the middle of the night and I have to get up and work. There's an inner presence that drives me to create and to explore and to keep looking for new ways to tell the story. It's the story of the world around me. It's the story of the places I'm compelled to go to see. It's the story of the people I meet. It's the elegant spiritual light that bathes the subjects I feel I have to capture in my little boxes with buttons. There's hardly anything in the world that doesn't excite me, that doesn't excite my imagination. Truly, I don't understand the word bored. When I hear someone say they're bored, I'm stumped. I can't relate. There's so much in the world. My problem, if you want to call it that, is that I'm frequently overstimulated by all that there is. Attention deficit disorder, some would call it. My inner voice screams and demands that I jump from one wonder to the next. I'm excited by everything. I can't seem to get enough. To me, this excitement and enthusiasm that drives my need to create art is a blessing. Although there are times when those around me may view it as a curse, I sometimes wonder if ADD is the antonym of bored.
People often ask me what inspires me. I find I'm just as often stumped by the question. The truth is that I'm inspired by everything. As I drive along in my car, I'm constantly composing pictures. When I'm walking through the house, some object on a shelf will catch my eye and I start to think of how it would look in a different light. The world that I see overwhelms me and knocks me to my knees. I struggle to put it into words. If I could articulate it, I wouldn't have to make the pictures. And I really do have to make the pictures.